everyone, Uncle Jess here. I love resin 3D printing, and for no other simple reason than you can print amazing things in high detail in a short amount of time. And today, I wanna to show you a 3D print that I've recently done on the Elgu Jupiter. That's right, the Jupiter. I haven't shown off any prints or projects on that machine here in quite a while, so I figured I'd throw down this massive print on the Jupiter from the movie Dune. This only took a little over seven hours to resin 3D print here on the Elgu Jupiter, which again was a Kickstarter resin 3D printer that Elgu recently launched that's gonna be available early in 2022. And here is our 3D print. This is a massive resin print on the Jupiter that basically took up the entire build plate surface for this particular print. And if you're not familiar with what this is, this is the bullfighter statue from the movie Dune, something that initially when I saw the movie, I was going, oh man, I need to print that because it looks amazing. And sure enough, I found a file for this over on 3D Demon, and it's available to be cut up in multiple pieces for you to print on smaller printers. But I figured since I have this big resin printer from Elgu, I might as well try and throw it down in one piece, in one go, and see how it all works. Because this is a relatively complex file with multiple structures interwoven together, I did hollow it all out, but that means that I ended up needing to put multiple drain holes throughout this so that I didn't run into any print failures along the way. So not only on the base of the actual print, I added drain holes, but also through some of the legs of the bowl, as well as the person, the bullfighter on the back, in a particularly uh, impressive area there to make sure that everything was gonna be draining properly throughout this process and not capturing any air pockets and causing any of those print failures. Another thing that's different with resin 3D printing versus FDM is that there is a completely flat base for this statue. And normally on an FDM printer, you could just try and print that flat on the build plate. But with the resin printer, if you print it flat, you're gonna have a really hard time, one, getting it off the build plate, and I'm still probably gonna have a little bit of difficulties getting this massive print off of here. But also, with the way that you orient and angle your print, it's gonna help prevent layer lines that you're gonna see through the printing process if you angle this a certain way. I'm not quite sure how to best describe that, it's just you wanna always angle, angle, and angle, if that makes any sort of sense. One thing that I'm gonna have to pay close attention to on this piece before cleaning it up is this piece right here because it is so thin and when it comes to removing the supports, I don't wanna rip it and tear the, uh, the piece there. And one thing that would've made this print removal process so much easier on this particular project is this wham bam flex plate that I just received for the Jupiter that I obviously haven't had a chance to install just yet. I'll be doing a follow up on this here, probably in a week or two. I'm gonna let this get installed after I get this off, let it sit for a few days and then test it out. All right, let me see if I can get this off without absolutely destroying everything. This is gonna be a really tough one to get off. And by the way, I did not use a raft. That's just a ton of supports all around the perimeter of this print. I should probably also look into lowering my bottom exposure settings. When in doubt, a rubber mallet is uh, always a good thing to have on hand. There we go. <laughs> when it comes to cleaning these larger resin 3D prints, you can try and use a wash and cure station, which depending on how big it is, it might not fit in that wash and cure station. Or you can try and use some isopropyl alcohol or denatured alcohol in a spray bottle and spraying down your 3D prints. But there's also another trick you can do. Now, thankfully with this particular print that I've run off and done, it's too big to fit here in the Mercury X bundle with the basket. However, if we remove the basket, you can fit it in the bucket. It's a bit of a tight fit. And then I just need to hold it in place while it's doing the cleaning process. By no means is this ideal, but when you're working with larger resin 3D prints, you gotta get creative when it comes to cleaning. Additionally, one of my older methods and still something I use today for really large resin 3D prints is just using one of those big five gallon buckets that you can get from the hardware stores, filling it up with something like Mean Green and really agitating it uh, as best you can. And then again, hitting it with a spray bottle of isopropyl alcohol. To help you remove the supports, I like to use hot water. Now I'm using an old crock pot that I use to permanently keep this water nice and hot. 
that I can easily reuse it as needed, but you don't need this. You could just use a bucket of water. This, if you leave it in here for just a few moments, it'll loosen up those supports and allow you to really easily remove those. Just be careful around any thin areas of your print or else that could warp when you're trying to heat this up to remove the supports. I did also wanna take a moment to say thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in more information on the Elgu Jupiter or the Mars 3 or the Mars 2 Pro or the Mercury X bundle or even their FDM 3D printers, the Neptune 2 and the Neptune 2S or the X, you can find more information about those down below. I absolutely love working with Elgu's machines and I'm so thankful for Elgu to be a huge part of sponsoring this channel over the past year. Thank you again to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. Now don't go tossing out all of those supports that you just removed. These are really nice, long, tall, clean supports that easily broke free from the prints. And what I'm gonna do is save these so that the next time I have a failed 3D print on any of my machines, I can run the tank clean feature, stick these in the corner of the vat, and then run that tank clean. And it's gonna allow me to easily pull up the failed 3D prints from out of the vat. I ended up breaking the joint here between the staff and his hand. So I'm just using a tiny bit of resin here to patch the actual seam that was broken. And then I'm using a UV pen to actually weld those back together. A really easy trick if you end up breaking some of your print or if you have some pockets that you end up wanting to fill, from your supports. And we're good as new now. You also wanna make sure that your print is properly dried out before you end up going in and curing it or else you might end up with some of those white chalky looking things all over your print. You also have to get a little creative when it comes to curing your large prints as well. And now that everything's cured, here are the results of our bullfighter statue from Dune printed on the Elgu Jupiter. Again, crazy impressed with how this turned out. There is probably a little bit of sanding that I could do over this to just really further smooth it out, especially on the contact area points where there were supports. Could have probably done a slightly better job of removing those. But in the end, once I get this painted, you're really not gonna be able to see that very much at all. Also, the beauty of resin 3D printing is it takes like, I don't know, five minutes of sanding and you're done. But I was so impressed to see this printing the full build plate and it printed properly. I was a little nervous that it was gonna maybe come loose, that it was gonna just be too much for the machine to handle because there are no holes or anything like that here on this build plate and it worked just fine. Also, a seven hour print time is pretty good for one of these larger machines. So if you're interested in more information about the Jupiter, and again, anybody that has pre-ordered that through their Kickstarter, that should be shipping here, hopefully, fingers crossed, in early 2022 or by spring. I'm not entirely sure, but I can't wait for others to start getting their hands on this machine because it prints so well. If you're interested in printing one of these files for yourself, I'll have links down below to 3 Demon where you can actually pick this up. I think it was $9 for the file. And again, they have one that's here. This is the full file that I ended up hollowing out and adding support holes and supports for it. They also have another variation of it where it's cut into smaller parts so that you can print it on an FDM 3D printer or smaller resin 3D printers as needed. But a fantastic file that I can't wait to get painted and finished. And again, not everything has to be some crazy huge project and ordeal. Every once in a while, you just wanna print something fun for yourself. And this one is a project that I was so excited to run off in 3D print. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I wanna say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support. If you're interested in my support settings for the Elgu Jupiter, you'll find those in my Patreon as well. What else should I print from Dune? Let me know down below. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.